The NFL draft makes plenty of superstars, but it also gets lots of coaches and general managers fired. A lot riding on this draft for a lot of teams, Jeff. What's one or two teams that has the franchise hanging in the balance depending on who they pick and how successful they are? I sort of look at those teams that have to win now. They have to win this season. They're not rebuilding. The Atlanta Falcons come to mind. They were hugely disappointing last year. They have a couple problems they need to fix with this draft. One is protecting Matt Ryan. The guy was basically on the ground all of last season. They could get an offensive tackle. There's a few out there at their position. The other thing they need to compete in that division is a pass rusher. And I think if they trade up to get Clowney or to get Mack, that makes a lot of sense for them if they can pull that kind of huge deal. It wouldn't surprise me. But they gave up a lot for Julio Jones a couple of years ago, and they're still paying the True. price for it. They're probably True. I don't a little know if bit they gun shy. Enough. The other team is the Jets. They gave Rex Ryan another year. They obviously brought in a lot of big names this year. Chris Johnson at running back, Michael Vick at quarterback. Big, er old, unproductive Eric Decker at wide receiver. They have to win right now with this team, even to save Ryan's job. So they have to get a cornerback, I think. They lost Cromartie. They obviously missed out on Revis. Ryan loves cornerback. Cornerbacks, it wouldn't shock me if he took Michigan State's uh, Denard. That would make sense. They also need a receiver, someone to go up against uh, Decker. And I think there's a lot of receivers out there they got to choose wisely in that decision because they can't miss out on another, you know, bust receiver. They've needed a receiver for about a decade. And yeah. They still haven't figured that out. They have so. Decker, but they, they need Decker, someone else. They've so they they, always they gotta needed the depth. They've got to put Geno Smith or Michael Vick in a position where they've got, he, they have guys to throw to. Okay, how about the New England Patriots? Are we just going to let Tom Brady's window close without winning another Super Bowl? <laughs> they were 26th in total defense last year. It's completely ridiculous their, their inability to find an elite you know, pass rushing linebacker, you know, Vince Wilfork's coming back for another year. But how about a defensive tackle who's not up there in age, who's not going to be unproductive? Wilfork was hurt last year. He was replaced by someone named Tommy Kelly. I don't know what was happening. <laughs> I, I just feel like they need to have a big draft this year, maybe get two or three solid players who can play right away, make another Super Bowl push with Brady, because that's not going to last forever. I know Brady took a pay cut to sort of make the guys around him mm -hmm. better, but that's not going to last forever, that window, and they need to win right now. The other people I look at, the Houston Texans. Obviously, they had an awful season last year. They were a trendy Super Bowl pick. They had been for the past mm -hmm. three or four years. They fell off a cliff. Matt Schaub, it turns out, was an awful quarterback the whole time. We just Raiders didn't don't think it. so. The Raiders don't <laughs> think so, but we have all found out the nation. Reggie McKenzie doesn't actually have a TV, so he doesn't know uh, that, that, that they're, they're terrible. Uh, Schaub was awful. The Texans can rebuild because they have the talent. J.J. Watt is probably the best defensive player in the NFL. They have some unbelievable players at you know four or five positions. If they hit here, and if they pick Clowney to go along the other side with Watt, and all of a sudden they have the best pass rush in the NFL, maybe of the last 20 years, then all of a sudden they just need a little improvement on offense. Maybe they take five or six straight players on offense. You don't know. In the a draft. quarterback would help, too. A quarterback would help in the <laughs> second round, a guy like Tom Savage, a guy like David Fales, someone who's sort of a safe pick. Mm -hmm. I think if they hit on a guy like that who could maybe play the second half of the season, you know, a guy in a second round, you shouldn't expect him to play week one. But if you can ease him along, get a solid quarterback to go along mm -hmm. with uh, with Ryan Fitzpatrick, who's apparently going to be the starter down there, I think that they could win 10 or 11 games just with their draft this year. Mm -hmm.